Welcome to DataViz from Access Engineering. DataViz is a powerful material properties data search and visualization tool. This demo will show you how to get started with DataViz. From the home page, you have three choices. You can compare properties across multiple materials, find a property value for a single material, or open a sample project. We'll start with compare properties across multiple materials. You can choose to look at one property in a dot plot or two properties together in a scatter plot. Let's start with a dot plot. DataViz includes about 65 properties, including cost. You can pick a property by browsing through the property categories or by entering the property in the search box. Let's look at density. This dot plot shows density across our data set of approximately 200 materials, broken into five classifications. You can see what density value each material has by hovering over it. You can also get more details, such as the source for the property value. You can zoom into separate clusters of dots and then use Reset to get back to the original view. You can easily toggle between linear and log scales. You can use the range sliders to narrow the density range. Notice how the materials not in range fade as you drag the slider. You can also use the input boxes if you have a specific design constraint. You can explore up to five properties together on a page. To add another property, click Add Visualization. Again, you can choose a dot plot with one property or a scatter plot with two properties. Let's add a dot plot for Elastic Modulus Intention. Now you have two dot plots next to each other. Notice that the materials that are out of range on density also appear that way on the elastic modulus plot. The plots are linked so that you can explore multiple properties together. By default, all materials are selected. That's why they have black borders around the dots. If you want to remove materials from your selection set based on their property values, you can do this on the plots using the Select and Deselect tools. Note that this changes the number of materials selected, shown here. If you make a mistake in your selection, you can easily undo the last action taken. You can also choose to start with no materials selected and build up your selection set. To do this, click Deselect All Shown. Now, no materials are selected. You can then select materials either based on their property ranges or by using the Material Controls tree. Let's select only the steels. You can either expand the tree to find the steels or enter steel in the search box. To select only the steels, check the box. Now you can easily see where the steels are on both plots. If there's a particular steel you want to focus on, you can star it. Starring makes it really easy to find on the plot. You can control what is shown, so you decide if you want to see the unselected materials or not. You can also view the data in a table, and you can sort the table. The table provides more information on materials and their properties with these info icons. You can also export the tabular data as a CSV file. The display settings also control what you see in the table. Only the steels are showing. To see all the materials, change your display setting to Show All Included. Currently, you have two side-by-side -side dot plots, but you could also do a scatter plot. This is what these two properties would look like as a scatter plot. You have all the same tools as on the dot plot, and the plots are still linked. You can easily delete a plot if you don't want it. These plots and their corresponding table live on a page within a DataViz project. You can give the page a title, and you can also add a page description. Each page can include related content, which can be from Access Engineering or from elsewhere on the web. You can add additional pages to your project. Note that while this plot lives on a new page, it is still linked to the plots on the other pages within this project. You can easily move between pages. You can save the project that you've built. Just give the project a name and click Save. You'll need to sign into your Access Engineering user account or register for an account if you don't already have one. The project will then be available in your My Projects area. Each project has a unique URL and you can easily share a project with others. Now let's go back to the home page. 
DataViz also offers a library of pre-created projects that you can access from the homepage. These are built by faculty to provide active learning exercises that meet specific course objectives. They can be used as is, or you can save a copy and modify them as you'd like. DataViz also offers a really easy search interface for when you just want to know the value of a property for a particular material. Let's search for the density of 1020 steel. Start typing steel in the material box. As you type, the list of all matches in DataViz comes up. There are a few different 1020 steels that have different processing treatments. Let's select steel AISI 1020 air-cooled. Type density into the property search field and select it. Here is the result. It also shows the source. You can easily change units and the value recalculates automatically. Once you've gotten the value, you can go into the visualization interface to see it in context of density across the entire database. Just click this compare button. It immediately drops you into the density visualization with just the 1020 steel air cooled selected. You can then interact with this page just as before. This concludes our demo. Time to start exploring.